one, Almy. Look at this shit on the road. Guess he heard me. Ooh. Like I said, Almirante banned Yap Yap, so he can still play Yap Yap. Rock Generation, the pulling out the ship Meister. Uh, we were talking in the Discord the other day actually about this matchup and who actually wins it because I think they both have the tools to be able to win this matchup, but shit probably just slightly favored. We'll see what Almanza could do here. Both players going gen second. Yap Yap though tends to have a lot of tools to be able to counter Shipmaster. Like Displaced Beam, yeah I got Grunt Dome. Caught out position, we got Please Don't Shoot Me. It's just, this is a very terrainy map, so mobility really does matter here. We got Mine going down, I don't think Rock actually saw that. He's going to be sitting on the Mine and that Grunt is dead. That is unfortunate, one Grunt down already. It's a nice mine that by Almiron, so very well placed. Came for the mini steel. Rock isn't having any of it though. Double mini gets picked up by Almiron, so it gets cancelled immediately. Oh, I got vision on that. Just having that vision is crazy. You can't actually see that without red. Constructed. Mini base complete. Got two. Wait, no, wait. These do expire, by the way. Uh, he picks it up anyway, but these do expire. Single mini picks up. Opted for the second generator. Raid camp comes up on the main base for rock generation and a war council. We're going to be seeing a heavy tech one from the shipmaster player. Still sitting on a lot of blue. Picked up no minis. Rock is going to be able to nab that one away from him with that extra vision. That means the double mini is the one that gets picked up for Almirante. Let's see that for me. The honor guard, that's difficult to deal with, to be honest. Even with choppers. Like another mine, it got triggered. Grunt coming across. Almirante is focused. Most of his units on the right hand side. Can take the other double as well, but I'm gonna leave him without a lot of units early on. And Rock already has the jump pack Bruce on the way to this double. On a guard not far away either, only six seconds away. Double mine goes on the power nerd. Don't think that quite reaches. Oh, does manage to take him out. We are taking Very fortunate. On the guy coming across the mountain now. Not looking good early on for Almirante. Going double gen with all these minis has really left him without a lot of units. Raid camp's coming up now, but Jump Abru's already here. On a guard already here. 15 seconds for his upgrade. Cancels the raid camp, knows he can't put it there. He's going to put an apex on the opposite side. We have a sensor tower coming up on the main. He's upgrading to tech two. Needs to do it fast because Honor Guard's marching to his main base. Jump out Bruce as well. We got a lot of fodder going on offense. Can do a lot of damage to the generator, but because it's not on the back, he can just extract back and heal it. Power node, second power node now picks up for a rock generation. Engineer on the way out. On a guard. Going for the generator. Sees him get tech two. He's going to go for the weak pad. Yeah, it's not going to let him build pads. It's a good way to deny your opponent. Is Almiron going to recycle this? If you recycle it, you get money back for these two pads. And also, you deny your opponent leader point experience. I'm going to say slightly ahead on the leader point experience. Because he built more minis. But Rock slowly catching up with these power nerds and the kills. Generator weak now. Because of the fodder. He's going to let that harvester die. 
Engineer is trying to defend the double mini. Rock is all over the place right now. Elite Ranger is going into the Honor Guard. Probably isn't the best play. Doesn't have enough to take it down. And a couple of swipes, he can take them out. Uh, looks like a uh, bad all units there for Malmorante means all of the fodder left the generator. That's what I mean, the honor guard just going to focus down the early rangers. Like Almirante needed to play a better tech one. He just neglected tech one really. Now Rock has all the mini bases. Now all the fodder's going all the way back to the base. Could have done an extra two bars of damage in that time while it walked away. Shrapnel rounds now. He wants to chase down the honor guard if he gets it weak. But he's losing rangers. Lost the generator as well. Trying to rebuild it right in front of the honor guard's face is just not going to work. Almi really struggling around the map. He's losing another mini base over on the right hand side. Struggling to fend off the honor guard on his main base. No turrets. The elite rangers are getting picked off. Once again, all units in away from this generator. He's having a right mare at the moment. Honor guard is weak. Ram's going down. I think he has extract though. Yeah, he's just going to extract all of that. He got so much done. The extract comes out, heals the honor guard, heals the generator. Rock gets tech two, takes the map completely. Uh, and this has just been a complete outplay. He got nothing done with that tech two. It was a perfect push by Rock, even denying all of the minis and the generator at the same time. Picked up three power nodes on the way. Lost this one, unfortunately, but Rock looking in a very, very good spot. All the fodder get taken out as well. Some nice vet XP for that honor guard. Foundry's out. Little foundry for Rock. And that's it, picks up an expansion. Shade turret drop comes down. Foundry constructed. Mercenary wrath researched. Mini base complete. Harvester constructed. Our base is under attack. But Brute's now going to be focused on the last mini base. Good war council, but he lost the generator. I don't think he can really afford that. Here comes the spirit support to save this. He's getting XP off the turrets now as well. Vet one on the honor guard. Looks like it's got his tech two upgrade. Everything going right for Rock at the moment. Way ahead in this game. Expansion comes up. Another mini base falls. Gets the stun off, the beam comes down. Just gonna be beaming the rangers. And the chopper as well. I might say during that does manage to pick the mini base back up though. Marauder reporting for duty. Oh no, gonna get taken back in the middle. That's gonna be four power nodes. We got the double war council. It's gonna take a while for him to get these goblins out and upgraded. Uh, I don't think he has the time, to be honest. He's very short on power after losing that generator. Has no power nerds whatsoever. Rock looking in a very dominant position. Marauders rallying in. Rangers getting picked off by the Honor Guard. This Honor Guard could take this whole army. Engineers on the way in as well with the Hunter. And we're just getting cleaned up. Here goes down. Grunt Dove gets a nice stun off. That's a great mine. Doesn't trigger though. Gets out of it very quickly. And now he has nothing to protect his expansion. Another Grunt Goblin coming out. Yeah, not getting upgraded. Oh, he didn't need that heal. Nothing was really weak. It's just fodder here. Rock's just looking to vet up on the fodder again. Don't have the upgrade. Yeah, he's just queued it up now. Shardstorm Launcher coming out. That's when these goblins really become nasty. But imagine if the Grunt Burn was over here. Yeah, this would be so much better for him. Got a Locus in the mix. Vet 2 on the Honor Guard. Really struggling now for Almirante. One of his goblins go down. So much money in the bank for Rock. 
Looks inevitable that he's going to tie this up at one more. Expansion goes down and Almirante is going to resign. A very clean build by Rock Generation there. A lot of mistakes by Almirante is going to allow him to secure the tie up in the series 1-1. One, one. 